you're in charge of Funk in the Forest, so tell me a little bit about why you put this on, um, what you had to do to get it on, and why you chose Funk. Well, so this is the second time that we've done this event. We did it uh, this past spring, uh, and that was kind of just a spur of the moment, something Brandon came up with. Um, it was a massive success. We had a bunch of fun. We had, the event went off without a hitch, and so we figured, why not do it again? We chose Funk just because it's an awesome danceable music. We've got the musicians that can play it really well and we just want to have a great time. What are you guys' personal favorite musicians in the funk department? That's tough, but <laughs> some of the newer acts that are kind of big today, one of them is called Galactic. They're a Really awesome funk band out in New Orleans. Another, uh, they're called Lettuce, and they're out of Brooklyn. And they don't come to the Northwest nearly enough, but slowly but surely, hopefully, we'll, we'll get some more funk up here. I feel like funk is one of those genres that it's always right there on the level. Everyone sort of knows about it, but it's time to bring it up, you know? Yeah, everybody knows it. Everybody can recognize a good funky beat and dance to it, but uh, <laughs> it really needs to hit mainstream. Yep. I mean, just, there's tons of music that's funky, and. I mean, you have jazz that's funkier, you have some rock and roll that's on the funkier side, so elements of funk are kind of in all kinds of music, so that's why we thought funk music kind of just pulls in a lot of genres. Well, thank you guys so much for talking with me, and I hope tonight goes off just as well as last time did. Yeah, thank you much for Thank you very much.